I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm not done. Happy 10,000 calorie burn <laughs> challenge day. It's just hit midnight. We've just woken up. Ben woke up and was like, oh, whose idea was this? Yours. Was it? It was your idea to go at midnight, not mine. No, you're not wrong. I'm not wrong. I'm never wrong. We're gonna go on a 10K run to start the day. 20 sunglasses. <laughs> No. It's going to be sunny out. We've got our Provis and our headlights. We might do a very quick snippet before we go to bed when we get back. So 10k easy, let's try and kickstart the calorie burn at five past midnight. Let's do it. That was probably the hardest 10k mentally I've ever done. We got there though. Run number one, done. Done. I was counting down every single K. Ben was great, it was just so positive throughout. Ready for bed? Quick shower, and then I need some sleep. Let's go. Time is morning. Good morning. Time is 7.58. We did want to get going by eight, but that's okay. We are sorting out our nutrition or fuel for the run. So how many calories have you burnt, Ben? 1,099. And I'm on 1,157, which is odd because Ben normally burns more than me. But we think it's because the run was so slow last night, Ben's heart rate didn't get up. Ben is going to carry this hydration pack full of sweets, fruit jellies from Friday that we didn't eat. And we've got some gels and we've got some Lucas Aids. So yeah, leaving in a min. It's about three degrees, we think. So gloves key, Lucas Aid key, very key. <laughs> Let's go. Let's do it. We're good. Yeah. Start your watch. Start your watch. Let's go. So we actually left about 10 past eight. We're gonna aim for 20 miles, which is about 32K. We're gonna just take it easy. We'll update you as we go. Currently in the first mile, running five, 10 kilometers. I'm not sure we're gonna keep this pace really. See you in a bit. miles in having a little sweet break fruit jelly break so every 40 50 minutes we're gonna try and eat so we're good. going well it's easter monday today it's such a good feeling running at like half eight where normally on monday would be at work so that's like mentally helping it's like well we're doing 20 miles which can be quite hard but i'd normally be at work mm -hmm. feeling good feeling good yeah call so, of the way happy happy faces we'll see if it lasts <laughs> yeah Ooh. We've just done a really big hill. It's big for me anyway. We're in Long Hambra where I used to live. Just climbed up. <laughs> I'm <Upside>. Yeah, hiked <laughs> up to the Georgian Dragon Pub. We're going well though. So nine miles in and we're about an hour and 16 in. So, you know, we're We're, we're in feeling all... good. We're yeah. enjoying the breaks. We are. We never go for a run and just like enjoy the run and have these breaks. It's quite nice, yeah. isn't it? We're so, enjoying ourselves. Yeah, it's lovely. Sun's come out, so gloves have come off, which is fab. <laughs> the gloves are off, are they? The gloves? <laughs> throw down. I said to Ben, can we just stay here for like five minutes? And we're not in any rush. Yes, we want to burn as many calories today, but it's so lovely to come out on a long run and break it up and enjoy the sun, enjoy, enjoy the break. Yeah. So we'll check in with you in a bit. Halfway, baby. The sun's gone in. Third climb pending. Oh, let's get it done. Just approaching the highest part of our run. It sounds like we're in a mountain, but it has ironically started snowing. Crazy weather today. 19k in out of 32. Yeah, catch you in a bit. So we're at Windmill Heights. Don't know if you can see just there. Is that a windmill? It's a windmill. I'm not very good at running up hills. And they, these are barely hills. Like in my book, they're big hills, but in a runner's world, they're not very big hills. I've got music. I'm not using it all the time. I'm just using it up the hills. It like zones me in, head down, grind it out. And I've been using Ben as a windshield. It's very windy today, but we're hoping for a tailwind on the way back. Fuse ODG, our antenna came on up that big hill to Longhambra, and it did, did wonders for me. Love it. Ready to get going? I'm ready. Eight miles to go. Oh, is that it? Yeah. Okay, so we're just approaching 12 miles. Eight miles to go. Lots of calories burned. Feeling okay, not 
good, but feeling okay. We are 14 miles in. 14.55 actually. Sorry. Nearly 21 miles overall. And we were saying, we're 14, 15 miles in, we're feeling better now than we were in that 10K last night. Yeah. That was a slog yesterday. Yeah. But you're still plowing through the jellies. I'm about to have a gel, a little bit of water, and it's all downhill from here. Well, it's a bit undulating, but generally downhill. We're hoping downhill with a tailwind. But the snow is, it's quite hard. It's a little bit unpleasant, but we're not getting super wet, but we're feeling good. Two hours, two minutes in, less than an hour left of running. I think we've got about eight and a half K to go, so. Yeah. Wish us luck. Bye. So we were talking just now, when was the last time that we ran 20 miles on a run? Or even any long run. Or any run. We're both looking at pre-Chicago 2020, 2019, sorry. My, yeah, the, lo the last long training run I did was a three hour training run about two, three weeks out before Chicago, which was October 2019. We just hit 17 miles, by the way. 17 miles. Two hours, 21. But we do a sweet stop. Yes. Do a sweet stop. Last pit stop. Last pit I hope stop. It's the last one anyway. Definitely the last one. Woo! Woo! Okay, to go! Half forward. Half forward. Last push. My view is Ben's back and bum. He's being a wind shelter for me. And the hail now. Uh, we've had all the weather. If the rain comes, that'll be a full house. Two miles to go. Twenty miles. Yeah, boy. Together we made it. Right, how many calories did you burn on that run, Ben? I burnt 20 miles, nearly three hours. I burnt 1,477 calories. Shocking, isn't it? Insane. Three hours hard graft and 1,400. There was more calories in the Papa John's. Yeah. By quite a lot. I burnt 1,971. However, my heart rate was considerably higher for the whole run. That was an easy run for Ben. I would say that was more of a steady run for me, hence why the higher calorie number. Overall calories for today, Ben? We're on 2,788. What's your calories? 3,537. So we are over, well, just about a third of the way to 10,000, and it's like we've run a marathon. The thing is, on a on a 20 mile run like this, that would like wipe you out for the day. That would be like everything you do in a day. And we've only burned like 2,000 calories. And you'd taper for it. Like you'd prepare for, yeah. if you're doing a marathon or 20 plus miles, you taper for that day. Like we have still got, it's half past 11 in the morning. We've still got, you know, like 12 and a half hours to attempt to get to 10,000. So, <laughs> ah, wish us luck. Guys, we're gonna have a shower, have some breakfast, and then we'll see you in the next bit of calorie burn nuss. We have showered. I'm feeling so much better. Just tracking fluids again today, like we did in the 10,000 calorie challenge. So I've almost got through 1.5, but I need to plus a litre, because I drank half a litre last night and half a litre in today's run. Now I'm on, this is my second bottle. If I drank that, it's three litres. A little bit less, because Nick has some of my water in there. Okay, we're just about to refuel with some protein porridge. My bowl looks more acid than Ben's. <laughs> Golden syrup flavour, and then I might treat myself to a hot cross bun. And then the plan is <clears throat> recover, but also burn calories. So we're going to go on a walk. We might do some gardening. We might go on the spinning bike if we feel like it. And then later on this evening, we're going to do another run or two runs. See you in a bit. How are you feeling? Tired. I think the conclusion is we don't want to be defeatist, but it's looking pretty certain that 10,000 calories is, is too many to burn. Oh, it's yeah. half past three. How on earth are we going to burn 6,000 calories? We, we need to run another couple of marathons, wouldn't we? We would. Nine hours to go. We are under halfway. We don't have the energy to do another marathon, but we're going to try and knock out 10 miles. We're going to give it our all. We'll see how high we get, hey? See where we get to. What will be will be. How many cows am I on? 3,208. 4,141. That's a nice satisfying number. And we are going to get this dirt, wheel it over. We're going to put it down here. We'll put some uh, membrane and then finish it with shingle. So we're going to do some digging now to try burn some more calories. Let's go.
about to do. Go for a run. I haven't done one of those for a good few hours. The weather is glorious. Freezing cold, but sunny. It's almost half four. I do not want to go running. It's the most, I think running, we've chosen running today over cycling because calorie burn to hour ratio, it's the most. Would you agree with that? I agree with that. This might turn into a walk very quickly. Anyway, I'm catching a bit. One and a half miles in. I'm really suffering with a stitch. If my stomach could just unknot itself, I'd be okay. I've got a pretty bad headache. For some reason I had the terrible idea of doing having a quick pre-workout. Just to get some caffeine in me to wake myself up a bit. And the weather's on our side. <laughs> on our way back. Final run of the day. We were sat in the garden, which is obviously all we can do in lockdown. We are so stiff now. We're running down a road called Tar Lane. I mentally visualise it as a corridor, which my friend Nicole first told me, from our house to her house. But we're barely moving. Mainly downhill now, mainly tailwind, we hope. Sun setting, so it could be worse. Let's wrap this up. Well done. Done. Well done. 60k for the day. 60k for the day. 35 miles. We're gonna eat and then probably bed. Who knows? The time is five to eight. I look like I've caught the sun. I'm a bit red. We're both a bit red, actually. We are gonna just refuel. This is the first proper meal I've had. I think we feel the lack of food. So fueling has, has been really hard today. So hard. Like on that last, I'd say three miles, I felt dehydrated, I felt drunk. But positive, we got through it. All I've wanted to say is something savory. So thankfully we had some chicken and veg mix and we've made it with couscous and oh, Oh yes, cheers to us. Cheers. Anyway, will I get on the spinning bike or not to try and burn some more? Not sure. Oh, quick calorie update. I'm on 4,489, so it's five to eight and I'm not halfway, which is upsetting. So I am calling it a day. I am saying 10,000 calories is too hard. And I'm on 5,546, so together we've we burnt 10,000 10, calories. Between us. But we both said we would have to put in double the work to burn 10,000 calories each. That is utter madness. Like, I knew it'd be hard, I knew it'd be nigh on impossible, but today has made me realize how hard. How hard it is. Like, it's opened my eyes big time. Anyway, we're gonna enjoy this. Will I get on the bike, don't I? Guess what I'm doing? <gasps> I've got my beer, and I'm about to get on this shit. I am 400 calories-ish away from hitting 6,000. But I like the number six, so I'm gonna do all I can to cycle until I hit 6,000 and then I'm throwing in the towel, I'm done. I'm gonna just spin my legs. I think it'll be good for recovery as well. Here's Ben. Jumping on the bike, topping up the cows. I'm topping up the cows and I'm uh, drinking the cows. I've just given up caring. Anyway, see you in a bit. Here I go. Oh, right. Ah, my bum. Oh, my legs. Oh. Been on here 13 minutes and I've burnt 100 calories as soon as this is done. I'm gonna eat all the Easter eggs and then have a shower and then eat some more Easter eggs. Almost there. Oh, I'm done. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. I'm not done. I'm 5,882 calories in. The time is 10 past nine. If that's not topping 6,000 by the time I've had a shower, I'm going back out and I'm going for a walk. <laughs> Cheers to that. It is 9.34 and I have 40 calories to burn. So what am I doing? Walking laps of the kitchen island. One observation we've noticed, we know it's a challenge and we know it's a 24 hour challenge, but my goodness, you get a number in your head and it's addictive. So I've got 40 calories, Ben's convinced. I'll burn those in my sleep in the next two hours. Don't wanna take the chance, so. Oh, ridiculous. Just had a big scare. The GoPro SD card error, the only way to fix it is to format your SD card, but your media won't be lost. I was like, Ben, I'm not doing this day again. He's gone upstairs to try and fix it instead of just laughing at me walking. It's all entertainment, it's just a bit of fun. All entertainment. Yes! I don't know if you can 
see. 6,000 calories. Burnt. Expended. Exhausted. 10,000 calorie burn day. Done. Not completed, but we are done. Anything to add, Ben? I'm ready for some sleep. Goodbye. Thank you so much for getting to the end of this video. We tried our very best. I burn a total of 4,883 calories, of which 2,700 were active. And I burnt 6,167 calories in total, of which 1,725 were resting, 4,442 were active calories. Just very quickly, resting calories we did include. We've seen some videos where resting calories were not included, but I think that would have been even more important. So you got just under 5,000 and I just topped 6,000, as you'd have seen me marching around the kitchen. <laughs> I also was 60,100 steps. So I did something similar, like walking around the house just to top that 60K Mark. We also both drank four and a half litres of water again, which was the same as when we were eating, which was actually really surprising because we were exercising, we were really expecting to drink a lot more, whereas it was exactly the same. So that was quite a surprise. Bonkers, really, to think that we did all that exercise. It wasn't a very hot day, though. That might have had something to play. Observations. Super surprised at how hard it is to burn calories. We ran 60 kilometers in the day. We ran for, a, I think, over four hours. I only burnt 2,700 calories, so I would have had to do that four times over just to burn 10,000 calories. That is just madness. Through activity. My observations were definitely that too. It's amazing that how much easier it is to consume calories over expense. And then my second main observation for me was that I got a number in my head and I just I just needed to hit that number. So it became a bit obsessive, a bit unhealthy in the end, but it was just a 24 hour challenge just for fun really. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you're keeping well and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs>